Hi, this is Julie Hester, and I want to talk to you now about something called scientific notation and how that relates to computers. If you've taken a science class, you've probably learned about scientific notation, and you learned how we can take a number and display it into two parts. So for the number 1, 2, 3, 4, I can display it as 1.234 times 10 to the third. And how do we get that format? Well, first, I'm going to take all four digits, I'm going to write them down, and I want to put a decimal point after the first digit so that I only have one digit on the left-hand side of the decimal point. Next, to figure out the exponent, I'm going to look at how many places was the decimal point moved to get in that position. So for this number, the decimal point had originally been after the 4. Then I moved it 1, 2, 3 places, and that gives me 10 to the 3rd. The 3 represents the 3 places that I moved the decimal point. Now that seems like an awful lot of effort for a number as small as 1, 2, 3, 4. But when we're working with really large or really small numbers, it's very convenient to use scientific notation. And here I'm showing you the mass of the planet Earth in kilograms, which is 5, 9, 7, 2, 2, and 20 zeros. It's a lot of work to write it that way. It's very easy to lose track of how many zeros are there. And it's certainly a number that's so big, it's really hard to even imagine what that number is like or visualize it. So for this number, writing it in scientific notation makes a lot of sense. We can just write down what are called the significant digits, the 59722. We have five of them here. I'm going to put a decimal point after the first digit, and then I need to count how many places is the decimal point moved. Well, I know there are 20 zeros here, and there are four digits after the five, so therefore, I want this exponent to be a 24, and we can write this number as 5.9722 times 10 to the 24th power. So, what does this have to do with computers? Well, when computers are working with floating point numbers, they're going to store those numbers in memory using scientific notation. And the numbers are going to be stored in three parts. The first part is the sign. So one bit is going to indicate whether it's a positive or a negative number. Then the signs followed by the exponent, and finally the digits, fraction, or significant, whatever you choose to call it. Now, also with computers, we'll talk about precision, and this has to do with how many bits do we have available, which ultimately is going to determine how many significant digits we can store. So we first worked with floats. Those were single precision numbers that used 32 bits of storage. But in modern programming, we tend to use doubles. And the reason they're called doubles is because they have double the storage of a float. They have double the number of bits available. So instead of using four bytes of storage, a double can be stored with eight bytes of storage. And with a double, we have 52 bits for the fractional part of the number. So that's going to give us about 15 to 16 digits of precision. Now, if we go back to what is the mass of the Earth, that was a 24-digit number. And even with a double, we can't store 24 digits of precision. We are still limited to about 16 digits. But even with that, that's quite a bit of precision. 
And there are a lot of things in science where they can't calculate a number to that degree of accuracy anyway. So a double is going to work for just about any need that we have. Now, how do we relate this to C++? The way numbers are stored in scientific notation is not a C++ idea, that's a computer science idea. But now let's talk about what's specific to C++. We're storing our floating point numbers in scientific notation like we would in other languages. But in C++, when we want to display a large number, we're going to display that in scientific notation. So if I wanted to display this floating point literal, I'm not even writing it in scientific notation. It's not stored in a variable. If I want to write the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.89, on my console window or display, by default, C++ is going to write the number like this or display the number as 1.23457. It'll put a little e to mean exponent and then plus 06, meaning 10 to the sixth power. So let's take this apart. This number that I put in as my floating point literal had nine significant digits. When I look at the display here, I'm only seeing six significant digits. And so what you might ask is what happened to digits six, seven, eight, nine? Well, did they go away? Well, no, they're still in my memory and they're still stored, but by default, C++ is only going to show six digits, a precision of six significant digits when it displays a number. And so we displayed the first five numbers here. And then when we got to the six right here, we had the six, seven, eight, nine. We just rounded that up to a seven. And so we're representing the six, seven, eight, and nine with a seven. And then finally, we're going to show that this number is using an exponent of six. And if I look at that, that literal there, I can double check that by looking at the decimal point. It was after the seven. I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four, five, six places to get it between the one and the two. And that corresponds to that exponent of six. So what I'm seeing is the first digit, a decimal place, five additional digits, and then the fact that we are using an exponent of positive six. Now I may not want to see the number in that format. And if that's the case, then I can use fixed to change the display to use decimal notation instead of scientific notation. I'll just put the word fixed before the number as an additional component being sent to the C out object. And now when I display the number, I'm going to see all of the significant digits. They've been there all the time but now I'm not gonna see it in scientific notation. And I'm gonna see one other thing here. I only had two digits in my literal, but now I'm going to see six. Well, where did those other four zeros come from? Again, this is going to come back to the fact that by default in C++, I am going to display six significant digits or a precision of six by default. And when I use fixed, the precision is the number of digits after the decimal place. So that's why I'm seeing eight, nine, zero, 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 zero.